Join, wager, cash in, get a $125 bonus. Details at tvg.com. Ladies' Day at Royal Ascot 2013 arrived with a keen sense of anticipation. Owned by Her Majesty the Queen, the strongly fancied favourite estimate was bidding to win the Group 1 Gold Cup and in doing so, make her owner the first reigning monarch to land the Royal Ascot showpiece. It's Ladies' Day, which means it is the Gold Cup and can Her Majesty the Queen land her 22nd Royal Ascot victory and her first ever Gold Cup with the Philly Estimate who won the Queen's Vows last year. And it's the Royal Runner Estimate who leads the Queen's Vows field by three lengths. In second place is Athens, third in Ed de Gas, and Ascot will stage its very special Diamond Jubilee celebration as the Royal Runner Estimate wins the Queen's Vows. Every time Her Majesty comes here, we are so fortunate the five days at Royal Ascot, any other sport can you imagine, rugby league or football, she turns up the odd ones for this and that, she has to do it, part of her duty, sits in the box and gets away as soon as she can. Here she loves it and the crowd know that she's really enjoying it, so it's absolutely fantastic, Her Majesty and what we do without her and she really sort of, she gets into it, she's down in the paddock for the Gold Cup, she'll be staying afterwards, probably doing the presentation. Never had a king or queen win the Ascot Gold Cup before. Many think Estimate could become the first. She's calm, she's collected, her ears are pricked, and she's doing everything right at the moment. And she has a date with destiny this afternoon. She could, she could if she wins, just blow the roof off the grandstand. We are looking forward to it. Um... You know, she's a false favourite because of her owner, but um, she's a nice, progressive filly, but oh, it'll be really tough. She's got to up her game on what she's done to date. You know, she's got a bit to find to win that race or get into the frame. Next as they level up for home, Earl of Tinstall is still leading to last year's winner, Colour Vision. Sadler's Rock is next. Estimate has got room for a challenge. Top trip and Simonon towards the rider coming home. Colour Vision has taken the lead as they approach the closing stages. Estimate is joining to join him. Simonon, the purple jacket down the centre now. And behind those trying to come through the challenges, top trip into the closing stages. Estimate and Simonon, top trip trying to get on turns between those estimate the red sleeve jacket seven on on the outside racing the water line it's a happy and glorious day at Royal Ascot Estimate has won the gold cup for the Queen she dug deep and she was really really brave she was so so brave in the finish and Ryan Moore everything went well for him I thought he had her in the right position uh, Johnny Murta, he produced Simonon down the outside for two or three strides there, Jason. I thought, being out wide, he was going to just run her down. He was riding the second wave into the race. Ryan's gone committed to go and get by Colour Vision. He's then, it's whether he can withstand the last challenge of Simeon down the outside, and she does. After fighting off all comers down the Ascot Strait, Estimate raised the roof on Royal Ascot and made racing history. In showing such passion and emotion during the closing stages, the Queen herself demonstrated that the excitement of racehorse ownership can affect even the coolest of exteriors. The royal success also provided trainer Sir Michael Stout with his first victory in the race since 1978. Well, she is just such a brave filly, and uh, you know she's she's such a good steer because she's so relaxed. You know, she just loves from the time she comes out of the gate. And yet to see her being hyperactive at home and having a kick in her buck and having a bit of a sweat, you wouldn't believe that she would react like that on a race course. It's a race I think any trainer adores to win, but to win it for the Queen because it's, it's extra special. It was infectious how people served her really got involved. And look here, that, look at, that's not putting it on. That is not a royal duty to be here. This here is tension, as all owners feel. If you're a racehorse owner, this is what you're going through, but this is Her Majesty the Queen. Look at this. This is absolutely magnificent. It was a tremendous moment, and, um, so, you know, if you can't get excited on days like that, you know, so, so it was lovely. It was tremendous. So thrilled for the Queen. It was an extraordinary expression of the public's affection for the monarchy, for the Queen, for a love of horses, and for horse racing itself. A day that anyone here will never, ever forget. It was magnificent, racing at its finest, and it is most emotional. It tugged at you to be part of it. Superb.